Greetings, my fellow Catholic. This week, I want to talk to you about the undisputed champion in fundraising, and that's how to say thank you. This week, I'm going to walk you through how to say thank you, because saying it correctly is really going to improve your fundraising. So stay with me the entire video, and at the end, I'm going to share with you a simple exercise on how you can get better at saying thank you and therefore increase your donations. Before I get started though, I want to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So make sure that you click the, click the subscribe button. It's right below every Thursday. So every Thursday I'm posting a new video, a new blog, a new vlog, all in the hopes of sharing with you something that I've learned with helping other Catholics on how to fundraise better. So that way you can fundraise better as well. Second, I want to make sure that you jump over to my website, catholicfundraiser.net. Jump over to my website and download my free ebook, The Ten Commandments of Catholic Fundraising. Yes, ten commandments, ten things that I think you and every Catholic should be doing when they fundraise in order to approach it in the right Catholic perspective. I want you to thank the person and not the donation. A small distinction, but it goes a long way. So when somebody gives you a donation and you send the thank you note, the thank you card, which is the basics of fundraising, I want you to make sure to thank the person. And you do this by reflecting on, okay, who is this person? Who is the person that donated? If you don't know who the person is, try and find out who they are. And I don't care if you're an extremely large charity or you're a small charity, find a way of bringing it down to the human level so that way when you send a letter of thanks that it's from human to human. I also want you to take a step back and recognize that donations happen a lot earlier than when you actually receive the money. What I mean is if somebody gives you money more than likely there were several different actions before that were taken that made them finally be inspired, be motivated, recognize that they want to donate to you. And it's these moments, these actions that took place, whether it's attending an event, hearing what you had to say, um, reading something that you've done, it's these different elements that are leading to the donation. And you have to find these moments and you have to be able to thank people, each one along the way. And that's going to increase your donations because you're planting seeds. There are even benefits, exponential benefits to getting really, really good at thanking people. And that is when you're actually thanking the individual, not just the donation, you are getting to know people, you're getting to know your community, and you're inspired to do even more with their donation because you don't just see it as a check coming in or um, an automatic payment coming in. You're seeing the generosity of one individual, five, ten, 50, 100, whatever it is, and that inspires. There are four certain, four scenarios that you should be thanking people. And one is after donation. That's the basic, that's the standard. So you should definitely be doing that. The second way you should be donating, um, thanking people, is after meeting them. And it might be the, a first meeting, it might be the fifth, it might be the tenth. But always after an event, after a meeting, you always thank somebody and make sure that you try and make it as personal as possible and write a note about one or two things that really caught your attention from what they said. The third way is after somebody does something for you, especially volunteers. So instead of just saying the big shout out, you know, hey, thanks everybody for helping after an event, during an event, even before an event, take the time to write a note, call people up, and find an authentic, again, an authentic way of saying thank you instead of just saying it as a, you know, as something that you just do and it's a formality. Make it more than just a formality. And then the fourth way, and this is when you become really a pro at your thanking, where people don't expect to thank you. And it's not a thank you um, that you just do to do, but you've recognized something, you've been inspired to thank somebody 
and you take the time to write a personal note, you call them up, you send an email, and you just say a genuine thank you that they might not have expected. And those go a really, really long way. Here is a simple exercise, four parts, pray, 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 ask. That's my usual approach to fundraising. And this is going to help you with improving your thank you and therefore improving your fundraising. So the first pray in this exercise is to actually read the letter to the Thessalonians from St. Paul and reflect on how he thanks people. Second, I want you to pray about the different actions that your donors are doing that lead them up to a donation. And if you don't know what they are, ask them and try and write them down and reflect on these different actions that people are doing before they donate. Next, I want you to pray about the different ways that you can thank people. So write it down and have a structured way of thanking people throughout the year. And last, I want you to go out and actually thank people. Make sure that you thank people throughout the year. You have those reminders in your calendar after an event, after a meeting, after an encounter with somebody, or just, you know, your Monday morning, who am I going to thank this week? Just find ways of remembering to thank people throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year, and you're going to see great results with your fundraising. If you enjoyed this video on fundraising, make sure to subscribe. Um, right over there, right over there, it's going to be somewhere. Also, if you just enjoyed the scenic views of Catholicism in France, make sure to subscribe as well, and uh, just follow me along on learning how to fundraise and seeing the beauty of Catholicism in the south of France. Cheers. Santé.